Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm super, super excited about today's video because I've been wanting to do it for a few weeks now and as we know, Halloween is coming up real fast. So I really wanted to show you guys um, my Halloween makeup tutorial that's inspired by one of my favorite Instagrammers called Sincerely Jewels. And if you follow her, then you know she has an amazing wardrobe. I just want everything that she has. Um, but last year, if you can remember, she did a really beautiful um, a Mexican sugar skull look that was quite soft compared to some of the other ones that I've seen and it's one of those where I think you don't need to wear fancy dress, you can still dress up like gothic glam and you'll still look really really cool. So I'm just going to put my hair back with a grip. So taking one of these um, makeup sponges I'm going to be using um, the Snazaru white face powder I'm going to just dab some dab some on and by the way just to confess I have never done this look before so um, this is going to be interesting I have this vision in my head of how it should look but you know sometimes it, you just think oh it might not turn out like that. I'm just using the um, my phone to, to put this on but it's better with an actual mirror. So just make sure you leave enough space around the eyes because we're going to cover the eye area black paint. So now you've got your white base covered. I'm just getting a, I'm just going to use my collection black eyeliner pencil to draw the sockets. I could do the nose first actually. I'll do the sockets first. I'm just going to go underneath my eyes, not too, just be careful you don't stub your eye with the pencil. I mean your skin under your eye is really thin so just make sure you don't um, dig too deep if you are using the pencil so I've just done this side right, don't worry about filling it in just yet I'm just gonna go the other side again just starting right above where your eyebrow is just go around So, just drawn two giant circles around my eyes. So it's up to you how you want to fill this in now. You can either use an eyeshadow brush uh, and use your black eyeshadow, that's fine. Or you can use your pencil, that's fine. But I think this will take me too long and I don't want you guys to, to sit and watch me do that. So I'm going to use a brush as well. Um, just and I'm going to add some water to it because I think you can make the look more intense, the eyeshadow more intense, and plus I think it will make it last longer as well. I'm going to be using this um, Naked Palette 2, which is featured in one of my um, previous videos, and I'll be using Blackout, which is which is that one there. So that will be perfect for this look. I'm just going to be using. Um, a plain eyeshadow brush. I'm going to dip it in some water and I'm just going to put it over the eyeshadow. I'm just going to paint it on. So now I've covered my two, I look like a panda. You can get your black eyeliner pencil and draw the petals around the eyes. Also, while we're using this pencil, I'm going to draw the heart-shaped uh, design on my forehead. So I've got a red um, lip liner pencil in red. I think it, this one's in cherry red. I can't remember where this is from actually. But any red pencil will do. I'm just going to colour the heart in red. Right, so this is the best heart I can do, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to draw giant petals. Thank 
So I've just used my pencil to draw petals around the eyes and I've got the collection um, eye pencil in, I don't know what colour this is, a turquoise colour. one eye done I'm just going to do the other one quickly and now I am going to I've lost the lid for this pencil and, oh it's here so this is going to be quite difficult I'm going to do the nose now so make sure your pencil or your paint um, your paint brush is quite thin for this because you want to try and get a clean a line for the nose so I'm just going to start from here one tip for you if you're going to use pencils for most of um, like your outlining make sure you have a sharpener in hand because it goes blunt very very quickly for your lips I'm going to be using an actual lipstick for this I've got a nice nude lipstick called Velvet Teddy by MAC so I'm just going to put this on now and then with your eyeliner liquid eyeliner you want to draw the teeth but my teeth aren't going to be perfect teeth like school teeth um, I'm just going to be doing very fine lines. Now the next bit is supposed to be the fun bit with the beads. If you're interested in buying some, they're the flat back pearls. So you can get them in all sorts of colours. I wanted turquoise to go with the, the turquoise on the petals. So you can see that they're in different sizes. I don't think I'll be using the biggest ones, but I think I will use the ones either side um, because I don't think my petals are that big. 
so it's more of a trial and error you can measure them up so i'm going to be using let's see which ones i'll be using so and luckily um they're already sticky so i had some um eyelash glue ready to glue them on but luckily i won't i don't need them Use the small ones for the inside ones. So I've just finished the beading around my eyes, that probably took the longest and that is it for the makeup side of it and to add to the final touch I've got this red flower crown from um, Claire's Accessories, it was £10. I love the colour of this and it just goes really well with the makeup look and you could wear this probably to a house party so it's really really cool. I really hope you enjoyed this video and Give me a thumbs up if you like it and leave any comments down below on any other videos you'd probably like me to do in the future. And I hope you have a great Halloween guys. I um, hope you have so much fun and I'll see you next time. Bye!